I found it. I am so freaking stoked to be back here. Wait, this jar, I know it's like probably 1980s, but still, I love the pattern on it. It's only $7. So I'm gonna grab that too. I never did look up the Powder Puff Girl. This is a fun one too. Anchor Hawking, $8. That would cost a lot to ship though, it's pretty heavy. Well, I decided to start with this section of upstairs I haven't done before. That is very cool. Really like that but unfortunately don't see a price oh that's a shame love the little planters yeah i want to make sure i didn't see a price because i know i'm a little fried yeah there's definitely no price on this but can we also talk about this how weird oh i remember this part <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start down here. Uh, first of all, this cute little dog figurine, that's at seven. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. I've had like those eyeglass holders and stuff before. I mean, I might as well just look just in case. Seven dollars, yeah, it's fair price, but um, I've just done it a lot. And I love this little dog bank, but it's got significant paint loss. Clown tile. Those are fun. I wonder if they have a date on them. They look like 70s. That thing's freaky. And about over here, it looks like a lot of newer stuff. Stiffy, it's so fun. Love the thermoses. Perfumes, bells, crazy jacket. What's this little jewelry box? $8, that's cute. It's got a little bit of wear, not bad. The bandana. Ooh, I am hot and tired, I tell you. And this is only like my first real stop of the day. I like this little bird basket, that's cute. Seven dollars, I don't think that would sell for that much. Let's see what else we have on this side. Lots of Star Wars, lots of collectible stuff, but not really my thing. I'm not even gonna look to my other side. I'm just gonna <laughs> do it on my loop back. Plan it, that's fun. All right, so that's just where it was. How did I not see that jar? Wait, I need to see that jar actually with the cowboy boots, that's epic. Let me go back there. This might be newer than I want it to be. It also looks like it might be cracked. $10, it's got significant crazing. Yeah, I don't think I can get away with that. It's also super heavy, so it costs a lot to ship. With the condition it's in, I'm nervous about paying that much. Uh, lots of little fun stuff. I used to buy and sell those all the time. What's this chair? Soap dish. I'm not sure if that's a soap dish. I feel like it's missing something. Kind of reminds me of that lighter set I saw in Lubbock that I'm still pretty in love with. It was like $65. That's why I didn't get it, by the way. Look at this dress. Oh my gosh. How fabulous. Look at the fringe trim. So cool. And then over here, I love this lady with her umbrella. 20 bucks. That's about retail. Cupcake scarf. <laughs> That's really fun. 475, it's newer. If it was for myself, I'd get it. All right, well, this has my attention. Look at this little owl soap, that's new. This is so cute. That's gonna cost a fortune to ship though. So many owl things. Aw, that's so cute. <laughs> Ooh. 20. No red X, so no discount. That's still really fair. Love that little vase back there. Eight bucks. And of course, I'm now seeing where I missed this sign. It was clearly said, uh, 
This is so freaking cool. $15 and 20% off. Yeah, I missed the 20%. I just saw the top part. Well, for 12 bucks, I'm definitely gonna get that. That is so 70s. I think I'm gonna do really well on that. I do have to know what's going on with this though. What? $15. Interesting. It's signed underneath too of some kind. Interesting. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna take another look at that after I look around this food. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wild. I love that hat too. I always want to get stuff like that for myself, but I never wear it. Well, I did look up the signature. It is signed. It is one of a kind. I don't see anything on the artist, but this devil pottery stuff can go for crazy amounts of money. I'm not sure about it. I'm gonna come back this way and leave it for now. It's kind of crazy to leave. I've just spent so much money already that I'm a little hot and tired by it. And I still have a couple sections to finish out. All right, I'm back in this section on the top floor where I uh, originally kind of crapped out <laughs> for lack of better words. Um, I want to go through the little teeny tiny stuff. So first, I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything over here. I don't think I am. Uh, I'm seeing these skunks again. They're kind of rough. This is kind of hard to turn, isn't it? Here we go. Little doll. That's cute. I buy and sell those pretty frequently in Pennsylvania. All right, here we go. The vintage crayons. That is cute. Four bucks, three bucks. Eh, why not? That's adorable. I love vintage um, stuff like that, like the colored pencils and such. And I'm just now remembering why I didn't pick them up earlier. It's because they'll melt in my car. But this is so funny. It looks like it's really damaged. Yeah, that stinks because it's so great. I wish it wasn't falling apart as much as it is. Ah. Armadillo. <laughs> Whoa, one of these things stands apart. Five dollars. This fabulous, super hard to find angel made in Japan. We're definitely going to go ahead and take her. She is fabulous. All right, now what else do we have here? This one's not as exciting it's also not worth as much that one i picked up usually sells for around 30 bucks santa 35 i love the uh graphic on that dickie's beanie now before i finish up downstairs i want to take one last look at this i did the walkway test on it i know i could make money off of it but the problem is it just looks like I'm nervous about shipping it with the cracking on the uh, back. I know like some of it's probably intentional and secure, but it's just making me a little anxious. The other thing I wanted to look at again was the quilt situation happening back here, which I didn't really show because I wasn't sure if I wanted to deal with it, but I already picked up one Afghan. These usually sell pretty well and this one's $10. It's kind of small. It's still fun with the red, white, and blue. This one is at 11, which is really pretty. It's a big size. Kind of feel weird for not grabbing all of them. I pass by them all the time, to be honest. I wait until I see super special ones. Love the bullhorns. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with the one I picked up. I know I could make money off of them, but I got a long way to go and I got a lot of stuff. And I still gotta finish up downstairs. I probably should look at these quilts though, right? Because these are actually like quilt quilts, which are even harder to find. It looks like it's got some wear on it though. I don't really feel like messing with it. I know I could make money off of it, but it's a lot of work right now. <laughs> I'm super hot. This is very cool though, actually. No, actually this is very cool. It's really in there. I think I might get this down. 
13. That's really nice. So it looks like it's actually in pretty good condition. This is all handmade, it looks like. And it's a really nice large size. The only thing is this one spot right there. I'm a little nervous about it. But I think it is gonna be okay. For $13, I think I'm gonna grab it. Now you will notice that all the cats, except for one, are missing from this dollar shelf. And um, that one's cracked. This is very cool, but that's cracked too. This is reproduction, but still fantastic. 45, I know I can make money on that, but I don't feel like dealing with it, especially because it's reproduction. And I am starting to lose steam. Wait, look at this. Lady, $5. Well, that's freaking neat. Have to get that. That also really helps out with my cost average situation happening. I think I might be paying a little bit much for that, that pink tulip thing, but with the chenille, I just can't resist. This lamp's at 65, also a reproduction, if I'm not mistaken. It's really fabulous though. Um, I love that lady that's $30, but I just don't feel like messing with it. It's so big and heavy. All right, now I'm finally gonna finish up with the uh, first floor here. Oh my gosh, look at that, that's so cute. The vintage umbrella, that's a pain to ship for me though, honestly, at this rate. Got a lot going on, so I am just gonna take this shelf by shelf. This is fantastic, these usually sell for a lot, yeah, 50 bucks. The bell, it's another good one. Look at this little toothpick holder oh my gosh that's so cute i think that would just be a fun little canister for three dollars what does that say yeah that's got a little age to it too i think that's adorable 